Hello everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. So today we have the Polish SR1, or if you want to be a little bit more technical, the SZR250. Um, now this gas mask was issued to people with head wounds, so imagine, you know, you're a Polish soldier fighting against, let's say, the British, because I'm British, and um, you get a head wound, yeah? So, you know, you, you go to your uh, field hospital, you get transported to a field hospital, and you're there, you line up, you've got bandages all around your face, and uh, let's say, uh, oh no, gas tag, you know, the, the, the bells rang, you know, the, the shouting, oh, gas tag, gas tag, gas tag. So, uh, you'd be given this mask, which is a bit more spacious, as I hope you can see in there. Uh, let's try and get you a good little view. So you can see my hand in there, it's pretty, I can do an entire fist and I can spread out my hand perfectly. Um, this is because it's made for you if you have, you know, head bandages, uh, as you'd be given if you were head wounded. Um, now, it kind of has like your regular Soviet hooded gas mask, uh, so like the GP5 and the PMG2. Uh, but it also has a six point head harness thing. Uh, like straps by here to kind of tighten it up because obviously having an airtight seal for a gas mask is very important because well if there's any gas leaking into the mask and it hasn't gone through the filter then you're screwed you're dead well you're breathing in you'll probably very much notice it but um but if you were in like a nerve agent situation the mask itself wouldn't help you you'd need an entire NPC suit um but yeah, this is just for, I'd say, your average chlorine or mustard gas, you know, uh, like World War I chemicals or at least more advanced versions of them. But anyways, let's move on. So the mask itself, uh, it, it was kind of, it was issued to the Polish military, yeah, and the mask has a thicker rubber, as I hope you can kind of feel and hear by here, but it's a very thick rubber, but, but by here it's a bit of a flimsy, uh, like balloon rubber, like, uh, like um, you know what you'd use for balloons, just kind of like that. And like a little neck pillow by here. Now, apparently, um, it was used to fix the neck, not the, uh, not, sorry, not the neck, the spine, but it was used to fix it, and by that what I mean is like put it in place, uh, in case of, like, let's say, uh, a spine injury, yeah? Um, and I thought it was actually going to be quite soft, but no, it's kind of solid, which I suppose it kind of has to be for it to be, for you to be locked into place. But anyways, <clears throat> uh, it has, you know, your regular crimped eye pieces, you know, right by here, and not, surprisingly, not a crimped, um, intake, an outtake valve. It's, yeah, it's not crimped, like, at all. Um, I found that a bit weird, because normally the Soviets love crimping their things, but if you look at the Soviet World War II gas mask, um, you can see it, this kind of has a similar, uh, what's the word, like a valve holder to it, like, it's kind of just taped. Um, but, anyways, let's move on from this. You can see it kind of has a Tissot tube system, where if you've watched my GP5 uh, YouTube video, you should, by the way, uh, you can see it's a Tissot tube, and I think it was made by a French person, hence the uh, spelling of it and the word Tissot, I mean, so it kind of sounds like French in my opinion. Um, but yeah, the, the mask doesn't really fog up that bad, but it does fog up, if you get what I mean. Um, but let's move away from the mask, because the mask isn't the only part I got. Also, I got the practically the full kit, so let's move this to the side. So you got yourself your bag. A nice little bag which I have no idea how to close because if I just put it there, it's back open. Like there's no force to it, there's no buttons I have to press again. And if you look on the bottom, it came with a dead spider. Um, but it looks like it's been dead for like years, so who knows, might be a Polish dead spider, so that's very interesting. So here, we got a lovely EO14 filter. Um, so, EO14 filters, also known as coffee can filters, because, well, kind of looks like a coffee can. Um, but if you've seen the old British World War II filters, or the American and British World War I filters, uh, the English box respirator, um, you would be able to kind of notice they kind of look the same. And basically, I hope you can hear it, 
is kind of filled with charcoal with particulate layers here and here. This one to stop you from breathing in uh, the charcoal. This one to stop you from breathing in like particulates. And also I think another one here to stop you from, uh, to stop the charcoal from leaking down from here. Now, I actually, um, because recently we've had a microscope that we're borrowing it for a while, but um, I did some, I, 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 I microscoped the talcum powder around here. By the way, asbestos in there, do not breathe through this. Um, there should, and we noticed there was like a little fiber, like a little fiber. I don't know whether it's fiberglass or asbestos because my dad said it looked a bit more like a glass fiber, but his thing is that it has asbestos. It might have both because I don't have much knowledge on this filter. Um, I only have what's well, on the script beside me because I have everything on the script beside me, obviously, because you know, I, can't, I can't improvise that well. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a quite nice filter. I really like it. It came in good condition. Uh, so let's screw up on the top. There, I hope you can see inside there pretty well. And you notice a lot of stamps around here. It also has a very nice lid. I don't know why I adore this lid. Um, but it has a couple nice stamps around. <laughs> Whoops, I caught it though. Um, it has some nice stamps around it, hope you can see. If you know anything about these stamps, feel free to leave it down in the comments because I'd love to know. So let's put this to the side. And let's focus on the hose. Uh, nothing really special I can say about it, it's just your average 40 millimeter hose. Uh, Ghost thread, of course, to um, do our screw on to Ghost masks as such. So let's just. There, now you've got yourself a nice Ghost hose. Um, funny story, well, not really funny. The second gas mask accessory I ever bought, yeah, well, no, sorry, the first gas mask accessory I ever bought uh, was a hose. And it said it could fit both NATO and Goss through a standardized uh, thread. But here's the thing, it didn't fit NATO filter, uh, filter threads or Goss. So whether it was like a 40, I don't know, 42 millimeter thread or something, I have no idea. But it just didn't fit, but it was only eight pounds, so you know, not a very big deal. But if you look at the hose here, you also see, look, it kind of has numbers on the edge. I don't know whether that's a date or not, there's an 87. <laughs> There's an 87 on the end, so hope you can see that. But let's move on to the bag. So the bag itself, I'm guessing this is where a name would be, like a name tag or something, because most bags with a name tag like that, well, ends up being a name tag. Uh, so yeah, it's like a light green-ish bag, uh, similar to that of the MUA kit. It contains four pockets, um, oops, oops. see here, one for the mask, uh, one for the filter, and uh, one for the hose. The largest one is for the filter, so this one by here. Um, the last pocket uh, is either for a decant, uh, oh, can't speak today, uh, a decontamination kit, or um, something like medical, like medical supplies. But that's basically the bag, it's quite nice, you put it around your neck as such. I don't want to show my face because obviously YouTube will block it because it, it will sense that I'm a minor and instead of tackling the paedophile problem, YouTube just decided to block it. Anyways, I'm not going to get involved, this is a gas mask channel for God's sake. But here, I think these are like outset, out, bleh, outset lenses, so let's open these. <sighs> I have opened them before, sadly I had to peel away all the tape, so luckily the tape's in the drawer now, so I don't know what these are. They're kind of papery, but you can see like a stamp here. If anyone is Polish or can speak Polish, please tell me what this means. Um, I actually have a Polish friend, but I haven't, asked, I haven't asked him for any translations yet. And here's another one with a bit more writing on it. I'll, oh, I'll move my finger away from it so I'm not... Uh, so I'm not blocking anything. See, uh, something similar to this came in my GP5, but it's always like um, not in the center, so it's kind of cool. It's like a, I'm guessing these are like man-made stamps, you know, like just. Uh, but anyways, let's go on to the best part of the video and the part that I most enjoy. Um, the actual putting on the gas mask. So I guess these are some extra plastic lenses that have been bent over time. 
Oh, yeah, you'll never find a straight piece of them, by the way. <laughs> so, uh, also like before, I think um, I think this is for an extra like wrap around to get a bit of tight seal, but um, this by here, I'm never gonna undo it because I'll probably never get back to where it was. So, yeah, without further ado, let me just put it on and I'll turn the camera to your point of view. Cool. Yeah, I've got this abomination on. Uh, it's kind of hard to breathe, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's a very big mask. Uh, it's actually really loud because like, it's kind of a big area. Uh, obviously I'm not doing it up properly because that would take uh, like a lot of time and I'm not going to the videos. And you can see that the tissue system works okay. Uh, yeah, you say it's quite hard to breathe. That's probably what it points because your face isn't as close to the intake and outtake valve. Uh, the pillow does very really seem to work. Well, obviously because it hasn't done it properly, but it's not that comfortable. I guess it wasn't really designed to be, but with the mask, with what it looks like on the side. We'll look at them back. And we'll just take this off now. Oh. Whew, it's hard to breathe. Like, I'm getting sweaty just, um, just wearing it. Wow, it's something sauna in there. Whew. But yeah, I guess this will wrap up the video. This is the mask. I hope you enjoyed. I got this for £30 and I bought it on New Year's Day, if that's any significance to you. But. I'll wrap up it up for the video. Hope you enjoyed and have a great night.